It's going to take a couple of coats to build up a good finish on that handle. So I'm going to leave these sit for a couple hours, and then I'll come back and hit them with another coat. In a couple hours. Well, linseed oil is set up nicely. Just polish it up a bit and then give it another coat. This way, any little burrs or whiskers that come up from putting the finish on it get polished off. And all I'm using is some uh, green scotch Brite pad. Just smooths it up without it actually taking off any of the finish. Now boiled linseed oil is really pretty innocuous and I probably could use it without wearing gloves even though it does have metallic dryers in it that aren't really considered good for you. The main thing I like wearing gloves for is I don't have to worry about getting this stuff out of the fingerprints because it is tenacious. Once it gets into your skin, the only way to get rid of it is just wear it away. way I can put it on take the gloves off and my hands are clean it's such a slow build finish too especially because I I take this stuff out of the can and I dilute it about 50 50 with mineral spirits so it's really thin because I don't want to build up a finish really fast One layer of boiled linseed oil will not take off the previous layer. So I can build up finishes until I get just the finish that I want to have. And it's not a high gloss finish, it's more of a satin finish. So it holds up really well. Once I get the boiled linseed oil on there, I'll put a good layer of paste wax on them. That'll be good for another century. Rag goes back in the jar. And I don't have to wipe off the tongs. But I just like taking care of the tools that I have so that I have them a long, long time. Now this rag isn't saturated with boiled linseed oil. But if you get one that's really wet with it, unless you're going to leave it in the jar like I do that one, where it doesn't get a lot of excess oxygen exposed to it, you want to let them dry out. A, a saturated rag with boiled linseed oil on it will cook off. Okay, we let it sit for a little while longer. Got some errands to run. I'll come back in another couple hours and give it another layer. The boiled linseed oil is dried out on these.
Well, the boiled linseed oil is set up on these two-man handsaw. Well, the boiled linseed oil is set up on the handles. They're ready for some wax. This is Minwax Paste Finishing Wax. I have been using Butcher's Paste Wax for quite a while, but the can has finally gone empty. And I have this whole can of Minwax to use up. Now, probably never going to buy any more wax because that can of Butcher's Wax lasted my mom her whole life. Well, at least the last 10 years of it. And I doubt I'll do anywhere near the amount of stuff with it that she did because she refinished furniture. After her retirement she kind of got into buying the make your own antique things. She was going to a museum and ordering chair kits and cabinet kits and building them, which I wholeheartedly support. It was a fine thing for her to be able to do it. She enjoyed it, and there was a lot of very nice things that she made. My sister's got most of that stuff because I really don't need a lot more furniture. But I did take the, the uh, can of butcher's wax and I really like it. I like it a lot better than the min wax but it's just different stuff. Okay, now I have to let this set and harden up. I found if I just keep rubbing on it, it will eventually harden, but it's a lot faster just to let it sit a little bit. But in the meantime, I can check out the assembly, kind of show you what it's going to look like. That's the handle all waxed up and sealed with the boiled linseed oil. I think it's going to look really good. And it worked well before, so I don't see any reason why it wouldn't work, work well now. So I have every expectation that this is going to be a functional piece and do everything that I want it to do. Next step, I have to turn another handle. Now my intention was to make it out of this. And I don't know how that's going to work, 
but I'm going to try it just to see what happens.